All right, so you're 18 years old. You just graduated high school. What does your lifestyle look like as a man of God right now? As a man of God, it includes just taking the next steps I need to, to uh, one, be informed about where I'm headed, but also um, just be ready and, and be ready to take on whatever God gives me next. Mm -hmm. Whatever the next part of the mission is, you know, I gotta be ready and go get that. Um, as far as like prayer life and things like that, um, I should I should read the Bible a lot more. I should sit down and pray a lot more. But I like to pray throughout the day, uh, um, through everything. It's like more of a a talk with God instead of just just praying to God. It's um like I see an animal, like like I like animals. I'll be like, thank you, God, and I start. Thank him for that. Mm -hmm. just, just little random things out of the day. That's how I like to pray. Um, I actually got that from my grandmother. My grandmother told me that. That's one of my favorite things I've ever learned from her. Mm -hmm. uh, was just you don't have to sit down and pray. While you should do that, it's important also just to be constantly connected with God through the Spirit, mm -hmm. no matter what's happening. That's a great answer. I, I like, because... In my my perspective is mm -hmm. the way that we look at church now um, is is slightly different than how in days of old we looked at church where you got to go to church on Sunday. So help me understand what is your take on church as we know it today for the young people that are listening. Like you're 18 years old, you're a man of God, you got the Spirit of God in you. But the way we know church, even into this day, you know people go to church in the building. But how do you look at the traditional setting of church? I think uh, as far as the traditional setting of church goes, and I'm a big, uh, big advocate for this, uh, it needs to return to being about love, like, like Jesus' type of love. Because there's so many different types of people that we push away and that we hate uh, because of political movements. But what it really needs to return to and what's really going to save souls is love. Mm -hmm. I like you're standing next to me. I love you for being a person. And, and your differences and who you are, everything about it. Um, I think that's what the church really needs more than anything. Because uh, the old timey and traditional ways, it works for a different time. And, and they won old battles. Mm -hmm. They're not going to win new battles. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's it, right? I've never heard that explained like that before. That's good. Like the Moses and Aaron battles that were fought, that were they were for that time. Yeah. But then the Joshua and the Caleb battles were for the incoming, yeah. you know, younger generation of people. So that's good. I like that. So you don't want to get rid of church as we know it. So you want to keep church. Exactly. Perfect. Okay. So now you mentioned love yeah. because that's how Jesus operated. That's how he moved when he walked this earth. So love. So hell, help me understand because not all of us agree on everything, right. but it's hard to put yourself in the same circles as people that you disagree with. So, yes, I love my brother that may have a different opinion on such and such and such, but how do we, I mean, yeah, we can all say we love them, but how are you showing, you know, how are you bringing them into your circles? How are you showing them love as far as people that disagree with you? Even people that disagree with me. You know, there's a certain level of respect that I have for them, mm -hmm. uh, just off the fact that they are a different person and they can see things differently than I can. Mm -hmm. uh, because everyone has a different perspective and that's really what it's all about. And um, yeah, as far, as far as that love goes, it's just being able to appreciate something that's different. Mm -hmm. Being able to appreciate um, the fact that life would be boring if we didn't all have our differences and different opinions. And there was no rivalry or anything. How 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 boring would life be if we just all agreed on everything? 